Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome to the Command 66-Day Challenge. Marty Miller from KW Platinum in Houston, bringing you day 14. Uh, today, we were going to do one more challenge regarding contacts, and yet I'm working on a little bit of clarity from the labs team about that last challenge. So we are going to shift gears and move into opportunities. So opportunities is the handshake icon here on the left-hand side. Basically, you can see it's an ability to streamline your transactions and take advantage of data-driven forecasting. So if we click there, you're basically gonna see two rows here for right now. So we have listings and buyers. It was interesting when the labs team put together all of the agents, again, it was almost 30,000 agents that were involved in the labs process in developing command. And they said, okay, so the life of a traditional seller or the life of a traditional buyer, um, what happens from beginning to end? And essentially there were, countless permutations as far as what each individual agent called each one of those different um, pieces of business and how that happened. And yet everyone could essentially agree that there were four phases that the buyer or seller goes through. And that's essentially, they start off in some way or fashion as an appointment, they move into becoming active, they then move into becoming under contract, and then ultimately they close. So you can see those are the phases that are already hard-coded into our system. We're gonna start off as an appointment, move to active, move to under contract, and then move to closed. So each one of these phases is in set. However, under each one, we know it's all a little bit different. So if you click on appointment under listings, you can see that right now there are three stages within that phase that have been coded. However, if this isn't the way that you want to set up your stages, you can always come up here and click on edit stages and then change how you want that to happen. So for example, right now, if you're working on scheduling them, they're saying, yes, we'll meet with you, but we need to find a good time. That might be a client opportunity that falls under scheduling. Once you have them scheduled, but you haven't actually gone on the appointment, you could move them into stage number two of appointments, which would be scheduled. And then once you've actually had the appointment, you're moving them into kept, right? They kept the appointment. Down here, you can see the probability of each one of those actually closing. So when we're just scheduling the appointment, we're at about a 10% close rate. And you can edit each one of these within the edit button. So what's the likelihood that this deal is going to close and get me paid if I'm still working on scheduling? And then once I have them scheduled, what's the chance that it's going to close? Once I've gone on the appointment, what's the chance it's going to close? And then we can move forward through each one of the phases from there. So you'll see active. Now this one's a little bit different because I've actually changed these. In my world, I have basically the first stage of the um, active phase I call staging and photography, meaning that they have signed the agreement, they're going to work with me, and yet we're still working on getting staging done or photography done. The next stage in the, uh, the active phase would be it's live, we're actually showing the property, and then we've got offers and we're working on negotiations. Once we have accepted a contract, executed a contract, we would go back to opportunities, and now we're gonna be under contract. So you can see it might be an escrow, we're going through inspections, we're in the appraisal period, we're in the financing period. And again, we can edit these any way we like just by clicking on edit stages and then changing each one of these stages and their probability. We can also add a new stage. If you wanted to add one in here, we could click on add a new stage type in the stage name, the probability, where it's going to end up in the position, and then later on, we're gonna talk about checklists. We'll do that as a separate challenge. So that's basically the opportunities tab. If you have a client in here, so I have a, a, a test one here in listings, and let's say um, we had not yet gone live, we we're still waiting on photos, I could put them here in staging photography. We go live this Thursday, I'm gonna move them into live. And then later on, we're starting to get offers, so I'm gonna move them into negotiations. At the bottom, once I execute the contract, I can move them from this phase into the under contract phase by dropping them here. And now when we click on under contract, you'll see they start off as escrow, and then I can move them along just by clicking and dragging each time. 
This is kind of the Trello board setup. If you prefer the uh, list view, you can always click on list view, and then you can see, okay, here's where they are in each one of these listings. They're under escrow. I can move them into inspections, appraisal, you know, kind of move up and down, depending on which way you like to view um, your stages and phases. So that's a very basic startup on opportunities. Um, I suggest you get in here, kind of become familiar with each one of these phases, phases, excuse me, get into each phase and then develop your own stages that you want to have your client's transaction move through. So that way when it comes time to start putting in those actual opportunities, we can define which stage and which phase they are in, or which phase, excuse me, and which stage they are in. Hopefully that's not too confusing. Um, get in, start playing, learn the opportunities submenu, and we'll have a few more challenges based upon that submenu over the next couple of days. Guys, hope everyone's having a fantastic day, and as always, I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow.